and welcome back to Cooking with Sarah. Now, I mentioned last week that we were going to look at the new New World mod pack today, this week. Well, I had planned on that. I had actually started building my survival house, started building my kitchen, and then mysteriously, the mm. New World mod pack disappeared off the FTB launcher. I don't know if it's just me. I don't know what happened. But, no New World. So instead, we are going to take a look at another pack. Let me get back into first person, get my, whoops. I already have my hotbar. Get a, out of creative, how about that? So, instead, we are, if you have not already guessed, by all the tropical paraphernalia around here, we're going to take a look at another mod pack that has the Food Plus mod in it. A little pack, you may have heard of it, called Attack of the Bee Team on the Technic Launcher, which uh, B-dubs and Generic B and some other people <sighs> with and associated with Minecraft have been tinkering <sighs> with lately. It's a great series. I would recommend you watch it if you haven't. We're going to play with this hot tub later. <laughs> but first, let's take a look at Food Plus. Basically, Food Plus is kind of agriculture light. It has three appliances, the worktop, the coffee grinder, and the refrigerator. Today, we're just going to take a quick look at the worktop. Mm. And first, we're also going to, um, sorry guys. No. Sorry. Oh, oh god. No, I don't, I don't want to be a cow. No. Uh, the pack also has morph in it. Did I mention that? There we go. I'm going to stop no. being a cow. Alright. Okay, now that gave me straight up beef that time. There has been some animal that I have killed. I don't remember what animal it is. But it gave me uh, raw meat. Just generic meat. Mystery meat. Meat, meat. The good for you treat. Okay. Much like agriculture, Food Plus has its own set of crops. It has coffee. Slightly misspelled, but that's okay. We'll let that slide. It has rice, which we can also plant again. It has tomatoes. And I need another tomato. There we go. And it has strawberries. And let me grab that strawberry. There we go. Uh, strawberry seeds. Oh, there we go. Very prolific with the seeds there. Let me just jump over the furnace like a, like a crazy woman here. All right, what we're going to do real quick. I'm not going to get into the coffee grinder or the refrigerator today. Just real quick show you how the food top, the worktop works. The worktop is basically a crafting table for food. And you make one like so. You take, this is all chiseled cobble, of course, but any old cobble in a upside-down pants shape, a crafting table, and a knife, which is simply an iron ingot and a stick. And that will allow you to make a number of foods. I will go ahead and make some tomato sauce, aka ketchup. Throw the rest of the bottles on the floor. Just put those away for now. I'm going to take some raw meats, and you can just smelt this stuff up and have cooked meat, or you can turn it into sausage, which is going what I'm going to do now. We're going to cook that sausage up. While that's cooking, I'm going to grab a piece of bread, no vanilla bread, plop that right in the center of the uh, worktop, and that gives you three bread slices. Much like real life hot dogs and hot dog buns, this is not going to match up. You're going to have a leftover of one or the other. So I take that sausage, take them buns, put a little bit of tomato sauce, okay, and ketchup on top of it, and you have a hot dog. Perfect for our little outdoor thing here. So yeah, uh, same similar kind of mechanics to agriculture, but scaled way, 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 way down. Now the other mod that we're going to look at, food-wise, is called Tropicraft. Now you know I have noticed in this chest there was some strange meat here. I'm gonna actually cook that, cook that up, get that hot dog out of there. Cook that marlin up. Now where does marlin come from? Marlin is a special fish. It does not come from the normal world. It comes from the tropics. Now how do we get to the tropics? Easy peasy. But you're going to need a few things first. You're going to need a beach chair, which you make. 
Hello. Let's try this. Chair. There we go. You need some bamboo sticks, and you'll find bamboo shoots just growing wild all over the place. Just chop them down, put two of them like so, make sticks. You'll need six sticks and three wool. And you cannot use white wool for this. It has to be colored. Yellow will probably yellow or red will probably be your easiest bets. Plunk that chair down. The umbrella is optional, but good for effect. Next thing you're going to want to find is pineapple. It's going to look like this. Punch it. Don't use a sword on it. The next thing after that you're going to want to find is a coconut. And right over this away, I'm going to... Oh, that's quicksand. I'm going to stay out of that. My cat's running around here like a crazy man. All right. Now, you can just punch these down, but you need a coconut chunk for what you're about to do. So, bop it with your sword, and you will pick up lovely chunks of coconut. And finally, you're going to need... Can I jump it? No, I can't! <laughs> oh, it was worth a try. You're going to need an empty bamboo mug, which is upside down bamboo pants. Again, easy peasy. Now you can do this in your 2x2 two two crafting grid, or you can do this with this handy dandy drink mixer, which you can make up like so. Drink mixer. Chunk ahead, which you're going to have to, um, <laughs> you're going to have to find a certain thing first. So, but in the meantime, you can just do it in your 2x2. Two two. I'll get my stuff back. But no, I'm not going to do it in my 2x2. Two two. I'm going to do it the fun way. Put that coconut back, or that pineapple back there. Put that coconut back there. Put that mug on there. And watch it chug. I'll put these other mugs away for a minute. There we go. Now you have a pina... Oops, I think I screwed up. Is that a pina colada? It doesn't say it's a pina colada. I think I'll make another one, just to be on the safe side. Oh, I have one already. Oh, pineapple cubes. That's what you have to do. My bad, my bad. You have to take that pineapple. Actually, now, I swear I did this before and it worked. Perp. There we go. Alright, bamboo mug. Pineapple. Chunk. That makes a pina colada. Okay. And it is a little early. So, um, I'm going to just, uh, there we go. Finally, you plant your butt in that chair. You get that pina colada ready, and you slurp it down. And, oh, what's happening? Where are we? We're in the tropics. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, geez. Okay. There we go. And I have a, a few of my tropical bits of paraphernalia here. You have to wait for the sun to start setting before you do this. Otherwise, you'll just sit there drunk in your chair in the middle of the day, the middle of the night. We are going to get into the tropics in more detail in, at another time. But uh, suffice it to say, there is all manner of cool stuff to be found here. There's good food. There's special trees you can find, orange saplings and stuff. There's marlin that you can fish for. It's just really amazing. But for now, we're just going to head back, and I guess it's going to make me drink another pina colada. It's probably going to nag me. It is. Oh, nope. <laughs> Can't do that. Let me just, um... That is the thing. Before you go through the tropics portal, you have to chug. And jump in while you're drunk. That that sounds totally responsible. There we go. And voila. Now, a fair warning. The first time you do this, your tropics portal on this side will open up right under where your chair was. So be prepared to have to move your chair. 
it will it will be uh, aesthetically displeasing if you don't. But that is all for today. Next time, I'm not sure what we're going to do. We might go back to Magic Farm. We might go back to Horizons. We might stick right here in Attack of the B-Team for a week or so. I don't know. But whatever it is, I will see you next time, folks. Until then, bon appetit. Bye-bye.